Hey everybody, welcome to the quiz access for chapter 9 and 10. Uh, this is problem number 11 that a couple of people had asked me about, so I thought I'd put together a quick recording just to walk you through it. So this is the No Toxic Toys company, and they currently have $250,000 in equity, and they're planning on a $100,000 expansion to meet the increasing demand of its product. The company currently earns $62,500 in net income. And the expansion will yield $31,250 in additional income before any interest expense. So they have three options. Don't expand. Expand and issue $100,000 in debt. In other words, take a loan or it looks like um, maybe a bond, something like that. Uh, or option three, expand and raise from equity financing, which in essence means selling off a part of the company. So that's our three options. And so why don't we just get started? So our income before interest expense. So if we don't expand, um, then our net income won't change, right? So it'll still be 62,500. We won't have any interest expense because we didn't borrow any money. So our net income will be 62,500. Our equity will remain 250,000. So our return on equity, bringing up a calculator here, will simply be our return or our net income divided by our equity. So 25%. So there's our first option. Option two is debt financing. So if it looks like if we do expand, we expect our net income to go up by 31,250. So 625 plus 31,250 would be $93,750. But if we use debt, then we're going to have an additional interest expense. And so let's see how much that will be. If we issue a hundred thousand dollar debt, it'll require a payment of eleven percent annual interest. So, one hundred thousand dollars times eleven percent be eleven thousand. So our net income would be ninety three thousand seven fifty minus eleven thousand, which is what eighty two seven fifty. Probably shouldn't do all that in my head. Hopefully, I won't screw it up. If I do, you can silently judge me, or you could send me an email and, I guess, I don't know, liter literarily judge me. Do whatever you want. It's okay. You're still good people. Anyway, and then our equity will increase, right? So if we had a 250000 in equity and we expand by $100,000, uh, oh, no, our equity won't increase in this situation because we're not... Um, well, that's an interesting thought. What are we doing here? So we're just increasing our capacity. So that's not going to change our stockholders' equity, right? So still going to be 250000 So now, if I bring that calculator back up, and I say 82750 in net income divided by 250000 in equity, I'll have... 33.1% in return on equity. Option three is equity financing. So we're going to sell stock, in essence, in the company. We're going to sell that ownership. So in that case, we'd still have that increased net income, or actually net increased income before interest expense. But now we won't have any interest expense because, well, we're not borrowing the money. So our net income will be 93750 but because we're issuing another $100,000 in equity, our new stockholders' equity will be $350,000. So our return on equity will be 93, whoops, 93,750 divided by 350,000. Ooh, that's a crazy number. It looks like 26.8%. Let's see, whoops, we'll check our work. See if you can mock me. Haha, -ha! you can't mock me. Apparently, my my math in my head worked for me this time. I still don't recommend it, honestly. Just use a calculator, make your life better. So I hope this helps. Um, I hope it kind of 
I, I think it's actually a pretty good problem for like kind of demonstrating the difference between debt financing and equity financing, right? With debt financing, we're going to have interest expense. Um, and with equity, we're not because instead of borrowing the money, we're just selling a portion of the company. Um, but then the downside is that uh, with debt financing, we won't have to give up any equity or ownership in our company, but with equity financing, we will. So overall, debt financing is the best situation for us here, unless what they don't really get into here, uh, we don't have the cash flow to make the interest payment, then we would have problems. Anyway, hope that helps. And I hope you have a terrific day.